Hello students, in this video I will show you how to use the HDI website to gather information about economic indicators for different countries around the world. Those economic indicators will help you make an inference about the quality of life of people in those countries as well as the economic development level of those countries. In order to get to the website, you will click on this link and it will take you to the country's profiles page. You will need to scroll down. And I'm sorry, it's still loading. Okay, so you will um, need to scroll down to see the list of all of the countries of the world that have available data. And then you will need to click on the country name that you are asked to research. I will use Afghanistan as my example, as this is the first country on your chart. You will need to click on Afghanistan. And the first thing I want you to notice is its rank. Uh, it's ranked at 170th place out of all the countries of the world based on its uh, development uh, and based on its quality of life. This number is very, very low. You never want to be at the bottom. You want to be in the top places. One through 10 would be the most developed countries out of the world. So you would need to scroll down again. And the economic indicators that you are asked to research are life expectancy, as well as literacy rate, and GDP per capita. If you remember from our Ed Puzzle lesson, life expectancy means how long a person is expected to live in that country on average. And this number is connected to healthcare in that country. If people's healthcare, their medical facilities are good, if their education is advanced, that means they have a lot of doctors, if people make enough money to be able to afford good health care, if they don't have any issues with wars or with their government, then their life expectancy will be longer. So if you look right here where it says health and you look straight across, you will see that the average life expectancy in Afghanistan is 64.5 years. So you would go back to your chart and you will need to write that number down. 64.5 years. If you would like to average and use your math skills, you can do that. And in that case, you would average towards 65 years. The next number you will need to look up is literacy rate. Once again, if you remember from the puzzle video, literacy rate is the number of people or the percentage of people who can read and write. And that number, once again, is connected to the quality of schools in that country. If the education is really strong, if students have good quality schools, then more people will be able to read and write. And so in order to look up the literacy rate, you would need to click on the plus sign that says education. And you will need to look until you see the words literacy rate, adult, percent ages 15 and older. So what percent of people who are 15 and older in Afghanistan are uh, reading and writing really well? And you will see that the number is 31.7, and that represents the percent of the people. So once again, you will go back to your chart, and you would need to put in the number 31.7. And then the final number you will need to look up is GDP per capita. Remember, GDP per capita means how much money an average person makes in a year in that country. In order to look up that number, you would need to close the education. So you can click on minus sign and you would need to look up the area where it says income, composition of resources. 
income is another word for pay. So if you click on the plus sign again, you will need to look for the words for gross domestic product, GDP per capita. Remember, that means per person. Capita is just a Latin word that means a person. And if once again, you will look across, you will see that an average person in Afghanistan makes about $1,735 in a year. So you're going to go back to the chart and you will need to put in $1,735. So let me look one more time just to make sure I got the right number, and I have. And so the next thing you will need to do is to make an inference about Afghanistan's economic development. Is this going to be a more developed country, a less developed country, or is this country in between? It's better than less developed, but it's not at the level of the developed countries yet. I suggest you do that last when you have all of the information for all of your countries on this chart. And the countries you will need to look up will be Mexico and Norway. If you still have questions, please remember you can always reach out to your teachers, whether during the live session through Zoom, or you can email us or send us a message on Schoology. And once again, another option is to attend tutoring. All right, good luck on this assignment, and we hope you are successful.